Righto. Kate has finished writing. Carol, I want you to face the lady over there and hope and pray for $1,000 that Kate is thinking the way you're thinking. Blank face. Baby face. Um. Baby face. Baby face. Kate, for $1,000, and I... I assume uh, that Carol could do a lot with a thousand dollars. Oh, very much. <laughs> what, what would you do if you won that loot? Uh, first of all, I'd give my kids a good Christmas. I think first of all. Oh yes, the, well, the Christmas that's coming up in 1977. You mean? One goes to a lot of trouble to explain. <laughs> and it's like seed thrown on barren land. <laughs> we know it's January. Everyone knows it's January. Everyone's promoted it as January. No one told Carol that it's really December. <laughs> Kate, I shouldn't be doing this because this is a serious moment in the show. Baby face for $1,000. And Kate's written pretty, pretty face. Oh. Oh. But you've won $100 and you're back in the game. You're our champion, so what's to worry about? We'll be back in a moment after these messages throughout Australia. We're out of time. We've got to say good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you again when we play Blankety Blank. All prizes are moved by Grace Brothers Removals, the professionals. Interstate artists fly and set and drive Avis, your other car. Whilst in Sydney, Graham Kennedy chooses to stay at the Boulevard Hotel, 90 William Street, Kings Cross. This is a Red's Grundy production, produced in colour at the studios of Channel 10 Sydney in association with the O10 Network. Don Blake speaking.